Hello, viewers of Jonathan George Villarreal's World Emporium. I am Jonathan George Villarreal, and I am excited to share with you how we can expand our knowledge of the world through the English language. Our videos cover a range of topics such as literature, histories, science, and more to pro you with a well-rounded learning experience. Regardless of whether you are a beginner or an experienced learner, our experts, the curious videos offer captivating and enlightening content to help you enhance your language proficiency. Hey everyone, today we are about to embark on a fascinating job through the miraculous expedition that takes place with our digestive system. The process of digestion is in terms about converted food, converted food into energy and nutrients. But they are also a complex series of events intertwined with our health and development. Let's dive into how our bodies, our bodies carry out each step from the mouth to the intestines to create balance, balance and well-being for our everyday lives. Mouth, the first gateway of digestion. The mouth isn't just the first entry point for food. It plays a crucial role in grinding a messy food with saliva, creating a smooth blend for easy swallowing. To achieve this, two vital actions come into play, chewing and swallowing. Chewing, the initial vital action, chewing not only helps break, break down food into smaller bits, but it also stimulates the production of saliva. This creates a moist, moist environment, aiding the smooth passage of food and supporting the swallowing process. Swallowing food is an automatic reflex, requiring no conscious effort. However, for safety, it's important to do food thoroughly to avoid the risk of choking. Saliva, the first nutrients in the digestive saga, saliva produced by salivary glands, is more than just a liquid. It is an alkaline solution that stops the food, maintains moisture in the mouth, and assists in swallowing. Saliva also contains amylase enzymes, starting the breakdown of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, right? In the mouth. Content transformation in the digestive system. After we swallow food, the transformation continues within mm, the digestive system. The food moves from the mouth through the esophagus, following the contracting and relaxing motions of the muscles. Eventually, it reaches the lower esophageal sphincter preventing the food from returning to the mouth and ensuring passage into the stomach. Stomach, the transformative hub and its vital role. Let's explore the scientific role of the stomach in the process of digested food. The stomach is merely a food reservoir. It's a complex system of muscles and fluids working together to create an ideal environment for food transformation. A flexible organ with essential functions, the stomach is equipped with powerful muscles capable of contracting and pressing on food, facilitating movement and mixing. This process ensures that the food continues to be churned and comes into contact with crucial digestive enzymes with the gastric fluids. Gastric fluid, the crucial enzyme gland. Gastric fluid is a complex mixture containing various important digestive enzymes. Pepsin enzymes break down proteins. Reading enzymes convert casinogen into casein important for children and lipase enzymes 
break down lipids. Hydrochloric acid, HCl, also plays a pivotal role by activating pepsin enzymes and creating conditions for protein breakdown. Furthermore, HCl participates in stimulating gastric motility and supports the coordination of gastric, pancreatic, biliary, and intestinal secretions. The role of mucus and mucus gland. The stomach contains two types of mucus, one soluble in gastric juice and one insoluble accompanied, accompanied by bicarbonate. They protect the stomach mucus lining and intestinal walls from the effects of acid and pepsin. Results of digestion in the stomach. Food moves through the stomach and is transformed into a semi-liquid mixture called chyme. Proteins break down into shorter polypeptides, lipids, and further broken down into monoglycerides and fatty acids. Small intestine processes food and absorption. This them into the vital process of the small intestine, an organ that stretches from 5 to 9 meters in length. It is divided into three main parts the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The small intestine's primary duty is to break down food and absorb essential nutrients by uh, utilizing enzymes enzymes from the pancreas and bile secreted from the liver. The duodenum plays a crucial role in the initial phase of food breakdown, during which the jejunum and ileum absorb nutrients into the bloodstream. As food enters the small intestine, it transitions from the solid to a liquid form along the way. Surface area, water, enzymes, and mucus contribute to uh, altering the consistency of the food. Throughout this process, nutrients are absorbed, while the remaining portion continues its journey to the large intestine, large intestine to complete the digestion process. Pancreas digestion and regulation. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes to break down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. It also manufactures insulin and glucagon to regulate blood sugar levels, ensuring the body's stability, liver, and gallbladder. Perfect partnership. The liver processes nutrients from the small intestine, secretes bile into the small intestine for the digestion of vitamins and fats, and stores and reserves essential substances for the body. Additionally, it detoxifies, detoxifies, and eliminates harmful substances. The, the gallbladder. The liver's companion stores and releases bile into the small intestine to aid in fat digestion. This collaboration plays a pivotal role in the digestion process and overall well being. Large intestine colon processing waste. This is for the vital organ known as the large intestine or colon, measuring approximately 1.5 to 2.5 meters in length, bridging the small intestine and the rectum. Its primary task is to process waste to facilitate the easy and efficient elimination of feces from the body. The large intestine comprises the cecum Ascending colon, transfer colon, descending colon, and uh, sigmoid colon.
feces from the digestive process or transfers to the rectum through the rhythmic contrasts of the intestines initially in the liquid state and eventually solidifying water water within the feces is absorbed and it remains in the sigmoidal colon until the next wave of contractions is stimulated typically it takes about 36 hours for feces to transfer to the sigmoid colon feces mainly consists of food remnant and beneficial bacteria this bacteria serves various essential functions such as synthesizing vitamins processing waste and safeguarding the body against harmful bacteria when the sigmoid colon is full it prepares feces into the rectum commencing the elimination process rectum controlling elimination let's dive into the rectum and its crucial role in controlling the process of waste elimination the rectum is straight segment measuring 8 to 15 centimeters in length connects the sigmoid colon and the inners playing a vital role in governing stool control when gas and stool enters the rectum the nervous system sends a signals to the brain subsequently the brain decides whether stool should be retained or eliminated if the brain permits the anus opens and the rectum contracts to expel the stool if the stool hasn't been completely eliminated the muscle continues to contract and in such instances the urge to defecate subsides the rectum is the final part of the digestive system and includes a narrow tube with a width ranging from 2.5 to 4 centimeters comprising pelvic floor muscles and two anal sphincters the anal sphincters play a pivotal role in controlling the process of stool elimination the pelvic floor muscles create an angle between the rectum and the anus preventing stool from existing when the brain has a given the goal ahead throughout this journey of digestion we've the witnessed the complexity and diverse interactions among organs and processes within the body from the moisture providing chewing in the mouth to the interplay of pancreatic biliary gastric and intestinal juices with the, the intestines all share a common goal convert food into the energy and necessary nutrients our body require the gut microbiota also play a pivotal role in digestion and provide essential essential components for health let's always create a positive balance environment to support optimal digestion and maintain our overall well-being thank you for thank you for joining me on this episode your questions comments and feedback are always welcome and appreciated so please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below and if you haven't already Please hit the like button and subscribe to uh, our channel for more interesting and enlightening content by hitting the notification bell. Your video should never miss any very exciting and thought provoking episodes. Don't forget to share our channel with your friends and family who may also find our content beneficial. We are committed to providing you with high quality, well researched, and engaging content that will help you improve your English language skills and expand your knowledge. And I look forward to sharing more insightful and inspiring things with you in the near future.